Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. BGP State President Ernest Maury on Tuesday strongly condemned the incident at Tura and stated that the Meghalaya State BJP does not endorse any form of violent protest nor has the party issued any directive to its Mahila Morcha to participate in any such protest. BGP President Maury stated that the disciplinary committee of the party will be assigned to submit a report against those involved within 15 days' time. The party shall also take a report from its district office and thereafter initiate action against those who are involved in such crimes, he and formed. The National People's Youth Front, NPYF, has termed mob attack at the Chief Minister's office at Tura as a criminal conspiracy to derail the peaceful discussion between the Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma and the representatives of the Archik, GHSMC and others on July 24. Vehemently condemning the incident in a statement, the NPYF said that the chaos and the attack at the CMO Tura tantamount to a criminal conspiracy by these anti-social elements. The statement said that the demand for a winter capital in Tura is a legitimate concern of the people of Garo Hills and it deserves a constructive political dialogue involving all stakeholders. The DGP of Meghalaya, Dr. L. R. Bishnoi, while addressing a press conference on the Monday mob attack incident in Tura, said that the Tura police have found that it was a pre-planned conspiracy to attack Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and cause physical damage. He also said that money was distributed on July 23 and many bottles of liquor were distributed to create violence on the meeting site. He informed that 21 vehicles were damaged, out of which four was burned and 17 vehicles were damaged due to pelting of stones. Tripura State President of All India Trinamool Congress, State President Pijush Kanti Biswas had resigned from the post and also primary membership of the party on Tuesday. He wrote a resignation letter to AITMC Supremo Mamta Banerjee. Biswas said that due to personal reasons, he resigned as unavailable to perform since the Assembly elections. The Centre of Indian Trade Union, CITU, conducted a protest in Agartala as part of the nationwide protest programme. The demonstrators voiced the demand for peace, restoration and violence hit Manipur and called for the resignation of Manipur Chief Minister N. Birin Singh. The protesters expressed concern over the prolonged communal violence that has plagued Manipur for the past 80 to 85 years. Sankar Prasad Datta, CITU leader and former MP, accused the Chief Minister of failing to restore peace and alleged that certain sections of the government were supporting those in involved in the violence for political gains. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday slammed the opposition as directionalists and cited the Indian Mujahideen and Popular Front of India as he derided the opposition alliance for its new name, India. Prime Minister Modi also attacked the opposition grouping on the name it gave itself at a meeting of 26 parties in Bengaluru last week to discuss strategy for the 2024 national elections, India an acronym for Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance. In what can be termed as the biggest sport deal, Saudi Arabian club Al-Hilal is offering a record-breaking $1.1 billion to bring over Mbappe on a one-year deal. Transfer fee to PSG would be $332 million and his salary would be $776 million. If accepted, Mbappe will earn $64.6 million a month, $14.7 million a week and $2.1 million a day. The 24-year French golden boy will earn $24 per second, equivalent to $1,900. 962 Indian currency rupees. There is no income tax in Saudi Arabia. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet